Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we are starting a new chapter named as How do organisms reproduce? Okay. So first we will study about Do organisms create exact copies of themselves? themselves okay so we will study about this okay so the answer to this is organisms look similar organisms look similar because their body design their body design are similar okay if body design are to be similar the blueprints if body design are to be similar the blueprints for these designs the blueprints for these design should be similar okay so are you getting me but I am trying to say here is so means the as the organisms look similar so the blueprints of these organisms should also be similar thus reproduction at its most basic level most basic level will involve making will involve making copies of the blueprints of body design okay students and in the previous classes also we have learned that the chromosomes in the nucleus of a cell contain information for the inheritance of features from parents to their next generation in the form of DNA so what DNA stands for is it is D O C ribo D O C ribo nucleic acid. Okay, so the chromosomes contain the information for inheritance of features. Okay, so in the form of DNA, the DNA in the cell nucleus is the information for making proteins so this is the information for making DNA in the cell nucleus is the information regarding information source for making proteins okay so if the information is changed different proteins will be made different proteins will eventually lead to altered body design so these DNA are the basic source of information means the information carrier therefore a basic event in let me first arrange this therefore a basic event in reproduction event in reproduction is the creation of a DNA is the creation of DNA copy okay 
so cell use chemical reactions to build copies of their dna so the dna copy is made by the cells cell use chemical reaction to build copies of dna and thus create two copies of dna in a reproducing cell and they will need to be separated from each other however keeping one copy of dna in the original cell means let's say it is the original cell so what cell uses the chemical reaction like there was a dna in the nucleus okay so what does it do is two nucleus form arm okay so each having two dna so then it is like this they separate after the however keeping one copy of dna in the original cell and simply pushing the other cell one out would not work okay in these organisms other single cell organisms such as the malarial parasite plasmodium divide into many daughter cells simultaneously by multiple fission okay so this is the multiple fission reaction so student further we will discuss about fragmentation regeneration vegetative propagation budding okay one by one we will see these type of fission reactions uh, in our subsequent lectures okay so stay tuned for the subsequent lectures on fragmentation and regeneration okay thank you students happy learning